Hi everyone, in this video, we will be discussing about the board account method of voting. Now, what is board account method of voting? The board account is a family of positional voting rules which gives each candidate for each ballot a number of points corresponding to the number of candidates ranked forward. This method is a simple tool that is used in elections and decision making in various contemporary situations. Each candidate is given a number of points and overall, all ballots have been counted. The option with the most points awarded is considered the best and therefore the winner of an election, competition, or other decision. The board account method is intended to be able to choose different options and candidates rather than the option that is preferred by the majority. For this reason, it is also described a consensus-based voting system. And who was developed board account? The board account was developed independently several times, being first proposed in 1435 by Nicolas of Cusa, but is named for the 18th century French mathematician and naval engineer Jean Charles de Borda, who devised the system in 1770. Now, let's have an example. I will be given the three examples how to solve the board account method of vote. Now, let's have an example. A group of mathematicians are getting together for a conference. The members are coming from four cities. First, Seattle, Tacoma, Puyallup, and Olympia. And we will find the winning location using the board account of method. In board of method, we will use the table. So, in this part one, we will have the voters and the first choice, second choice, third choice, and the fourth choice. So the 51 votes, we have the Seattle, Tacoma, Olympia, Puyallup. And the 25 votes, we have the Tacoma, Puyallup, Olympia, and Seattle. For the 10 votes, we have the Puyallup, Tacoma, Olympia, Seattle. And the last votes, which is 14, we have the Olympia, Tacoma, Puyallup, and Seattle. And solve the problem. So we have the first choice, second choice, third choice, and the fourth choice. In the last choice, we will given the one point. And the third choice, we will have given the two points. And the second choice, we will have given the three points. And the last choice, we will have four points. So. Now let's solve the problem. In this method, we will multiply the number of votes and the number of points. Now, we have the Seattle. In this votes, 51, Seattle have 4 points multiplied by 4, the total of 204. Plus, in this votes, we have the 25 votes and Seattle have 1 point. And this votes, 10 votes, the Seattle have 1 point. And the 14 votes, Seattle have 1 point, the total of 253. And Tacoma, Tacoma have the 3 points is equal to multiply by 3, the total of 253 plus 25 votes. Tacoma have 4 points and the 10 votes, Tacoma have 3 points and the 14 votes, Tacoma have three points again and the total of 325 votes and Olympia have the two points and the total of 402 plus the 25 votes Olympia have two vo votes again two points rather and for the 10 votes Olympia have two points and for 14 votes Olympia have Four points and the total of 228. For the last city, we have the Puyallup. Puyallup have one point, the total of 51 points, plus 25. Puyallup have three points, plus 10 votes. Puyallup have four points, and the last votes, 14 votes, Puyallup have two points. The total of 144 votes. Now, this is the result of the total points multiplied by the votes. So, let's define or let's see who 
which the majority or the highest votes in these cities. So we have the Tacoma. So this is the highest votes that we will have in this city. So 325. Tacoma has a majority of votes. We have the second example here. So the school principal election. So the number of voters, we have the first, second, third, and fourth. And the votes, we will have the six votes, two votes, and the three votes. And the first choice, we have the four points. The second choice, we have the three points. The third choice, we have the two points. And the fourth, we have the one point. Now, let's solve it. So, the number of votes multiplied by the points, we will come up the 24 votes. 6 multiplied by 4 is equal to 24. Next, the number of votes, 6 multiplied by 3, we will come up 18. 6 multiplied by 2, we will come up 12. 6 multiplied by 1, we will come up 6. So, we have... The third column, which is the two votes, and we have multiplied by the points again. So, two votes, and the two votes, we have two multiplied by four, eight, two multiplied by three, six, and so on. So, the votes multiplied by the points, and this is the total. Now, we will find the A. So, A here is 24 plus 2 plus 3, you will total or come up the 29 votes and for the B, you will 18, 8, 6, and the total of 32. And letter C, we have 12 plus 6 plus 12, you will come up 13. And D, you will have 6 plus 4 plus 9, the total of 19. Now, let's find the highest votes or the majority of votes. So, this is the Bordel winner. We will come up with the 32 votes. This is the highest votes. And that's it. And we have the last problem. So, the Math Appreciation Society is a student club at Tasmanian State University. At Tasmanian State University is holding its an annual election and therefore the candidates running are Abel, Becca, Candice, and Daniel. So A, B, C, D is the for short. So the preference schedule for the mass officer election is given below. And now let's solve the problem. So we have the another way on how to solve the board of Becca. This is the landscape, landscape way of solving. So we have the candidates A, B, C, and D. So in this column, we have the four points, the three points, two points, one point. So first, we have the four points. So we will find the letter A candidates. So four points, we have letter A, which is 1 is equal to 14. So 4 multiplied by 40 plus the third point, or the second choice. There's no letter A. A here in the choices. So we will put the zero points and plus the two points we will have no again the letter A here. So plus the one point we have the the four letter A. So A one, two, three, four. So ten plus A plus four plus one we will come up the twenty-three votes. So the total of 79 votes. Let's move on to the letter B of candidates. So, in the B, four points, we will find the B, which is this. So, we have the four votes plus the three points. We have B plus B or the B plus votes. We have the 14 plus 10. Is we will come up 24 plus the two points in the third, third choice, we will have two votes, which is 8 plus 1 
we will come up to 9 plus 1 point. We will have no B here. So, we will put 0. And these votes, we will come up 106 votes. And now, let's proceed to the number C candidates. So, for the 4 points, we have 2 votes. We have 10 plus 1 votes. We will come up 11 points. Plus the 3 points, we will have 1 vote, which is 8, so 8. Plus the 2 points, we will have 2 votes, C plus C, so 14 plus 4, we will have 18 votes. Plus 1, we will have no the letter C here. So we will put here 0, so we will come up 104 votes. For the last candidates, we have 4, so the letter D here is 1, so 8. For the three votes, the letter D is two. So four plus one, we will come up five. Plus for the two points, we will have one vote, so which is ten. For the last one point, we will have one vote again. So we will put here fourteen. So we will come up eighty-one votes. So as usual, we will find the highest votes. So we. We will have the 106 votes, which is a majority of votes. So, letter B or Becca wins for these votes. And this is for today's video. I hope you will learn something about the word account of letter. That's all. Thank you.